The Islanders retire combative four-time Stanley Cup winning goalie Billy Smith's number 31 jersey. Billy Smith was easily the most aggressive goalie that um, I've ever seen, and I think anyone has ever seen. He took protecting his crease to another level. Certainly deserved to have number 31 retired, one of the great money playoff goalies of all time, and a key part of that Islander dynasty that won four straight Stanley Cups. He was quite a character. He was um, beloved by his teammates and hated by uh, opposing teammates. Next to Ron Hextall, he has to be one of the dirtiest goalies in the league. And just such hatred that Ranger fans had for Billy Smith. And on top of that, winning those Stanley Cups with the Islanders just made us sick, made us disgusted, especially the four years in a row. Billy Smith might actually be the first player in sports I ever hated, or thought I hated, because you don't actually hate the guy. But as a Rangers fan, what a punk. And even now, there's something that just doesn't sit right. Let me just say one thing. You say Islanders, as a Ranger fan, I say I hate Potvin, I hate Nystrom, I hate Trotz, and I hate Billy Smith, OK? Let's start it that way. Billy Smith, I'd like to take that retired number of yours and wipe it on my tokus for all the grief and pain you gave us over the years. We were playing uh, in Long Island one night, and uh, I came by his net, and he said, Fatih, you come by my net one more time, I'm going to break your ankle. Face-offs way down in Nelson Coliseum on the other end. I said, I ain't going to let him talk to me that way. I skated all the way back, and I told him, I said, Billy, if you ever, ever hit me with that gold stick, I don't care if I ever play hockey again, I want to stick this stick right down your throat. Hey, Billy Smith, one of the greatest goalies of all time, obviously, four Stanley Cup championships, battling Billy, the hatchet man. But let's be honest, he took more dives than Greg Luganis. I saw a game where um, he actually led to a rules change, what he did, and it was kind of one of the most disgusting things I've ever seen. He, he butt-ended Lindy Ruff, and it hit him in the face right below his eye. Lindy Ruff could have lost his eye at that point. And Billy Smith, what he would do is he would leave the butt end of his stick untaped. So it basically was a weapon. And, and he would all, all the time just go, you know, flinch it at people just to protect his crease. And they actually led to a rules change. The following year, the NHL made it mandatory that goalies had to tape the end of their stick, the butt end of their stick, the Billy Smith end of their stick. Billy Smith, one of the greatest goaltenders of all time. But I always wonder about those Islander teams, right? Because everybody was good. You know, whether it was Bossy or Trachier or Gillies or Nystrom, even guys like Anders Kaller and Bobby Nystrom, and certainly a great defenseman like Kenny Morrow and Denny Potvin. So is it possible that all of these guys were Hall of Famers, or was it that these guys were just good or good enough or so good they won Stanley Cups that maybe they weren't Hall of Famers, but they were just very good? In the end, it doesn't matter. When I think about Billy Smith, I think about a guy that went out there and, and did his job to his fullest and a little old school hockey type of guy as well. A lot of people thought he was nuts. I, I thought he was just a character to watch. There probably weren't a lot of sportsman trip trophies that were named after him through the years, and there probably were a lot of coaches in youth leagues who said, that's the way you don't act. But you know, you almost have to admire that because he had a he believed it was hypocritical to all of a sudden turn around and shake the opponent's hands, and he stuck to that his entire career.